Hello there guys, today I'm going to show you how to correct elephant's foot in Prusa Slicer. So, if you're like me and you like printing printing place gears, for example this hairy bone gear, you should also like to have good results, but when elephant's foot stands in the way, you cannot achieve them, because some of our surfaces that are really good for normal prints may not be as good for fidget spinners because they're textured. Textured means that because there's a texture it sticks better but what happens with fidgets or things that print in place that have a small cleavance well that means that the filament expands and fuses with other filament so that's not really good. So today in Prusa Slicer we're going to learn how to correct that so you don't get a model like mine, a fused hairy bone gear. I even had to hit it with a hammer for it to turn a little bit. But it should be turning like a bearing. So um, we're going to go into Prusa Slicer. And now we're going to see that, for example, I've imported a model and I've I see that it's a fidget spinner, so there's a real tight clearance in the bottom. And we're going to make sure it doesn't fuse by using elephant's foot compensator. I'm going to type in elephant's foot and it will say elephant's foot compensation. And normally a value between 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 is a nice value, so I'll put 0 0.3. Next, we're going to do our, our, all our default settings, for it, but because I already sliced it, I'm going to type in 16, for example, here. And I'm going to click Slice. And now, as you can see, it looks like a normal model, but when you go to a bottom layer, look how it compenses the bottom layer. So that's a really nice feature, Prusa. I hope you've learned how to do this. And as always, if you've gotten content out of this video, please leave a thumbs up and a subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you very much.